Hi everybody. I hope you had a nice Easter. I want to show you something before I read a story today. Do you know what this is? If you said Noah's Ark, you're right. This actually was my kids cookie jar when they were little. And I know that Pastor Fred and Mr. Gary are hoping to get something out of here at the end of the story. Well, I'm going to show you what's in here at the end of the story. Now, of course, the story I'm going to read to you today is about Noah's Ark. And actually, I read this story to you about a year ago. But you know what? I always like to think of books as friends. And you always like to see your friends again. And it's nice to see books again. So, this is called Noah's Ark. Long, long ago, there lived a good man called Noah, who loved God, but not everyone was good like him, and they certainly didn't let God into their hearts. One day, God spoke to Noah, I will send an enormous flood to cover this world and all its badness. Only you, your family, and pairs of all living animals will be saved. Do you know what pairs means? Two, two of each. God told Noah to build a wooden ark, a huge boat that would be big enough to carry his family and pairs of all living animals to safety. So Noah worked hard for many weeks to finish the task. He had great faith in God and asked other people to join him, but no one listened. At long last, the magnificent ark was ready. Two by two, the animals came, great and small, tiny and tall. They all made their way to the ark. Finally, when all of the animals were safely on board, Noah and his family climbed in too, just in time. Almost at once, it started to rain and rain and rain and rain. The water rose higher and higher, flooding the whole world. As the ark was tossed around in the rough waves, Noah, his family, and the animals sheltered safely inside. Finally, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. The ark came to rest on a mountaintop that poked out of the water. Noah sent a dove to see if she could find dry land, but she came back because water was everywhere. There was no land in sight. One week later, Noah sent the dove out again. This time she returned with an olive branch in her beak. The week after that, Noah sent the dove out again, and this time she didn't come back. So Noah knew that the floodwaters had gone down at long last. When Noah left the ark, he built an altar and worshiped God for saving his family and all of the animals from the flood. God was pleased with Noah and promised that he would never send a flood to cover the world again. He created a beautiful rainbow in every color. The rainbow was a sign of God's promise and peace to all humankind. You know, I would love to be on that ark with all those animals because I love animals so much. But anyway, what do you think's in here? Let me show you. Absolutely nothing. And there's a reason why. It's because I have another book about Noah and it has very beautiful pictures in there. And when we finally get back to church, I want to read that book to you again. 
Actually, I want to read it to you for the first time. But I want you to see the beautiful pictures. But I promise you, when I read that book to you, there will be something inside here for you. Okay? Be good for your parents. Get along with your brothers and sisters. Hope to see you soon. Bye.